All right, I want to get back to COVID-19. A lot of new developments in the last few hours about the fight against this virus and disease and those urgent warnings as well. Joining me is Dr. David Winter from Baylor Scott and White Health. Dr. Winter, good morning. Good morning, Sonia. So let's start with research, specifically new treatment regimens that we've been hearing about this week. Well, this is an exciting week, Sonia. A new drug was just approved from Eli Lilly. It's called Bamlanivimab. Say that three times real fast if you can. It's a neat antibody. It actually can help treat mild to moderate cases of COVID-19. So it's designed for outpatients, people not in the hospital. Now it's a limited supply. So far we're giving this only to people who are over age 65 with new onset within 10 days COVID or over age 55 with certain medical conditions, obesity or immunosuppressive problems. It's given IV, takes about an hour, and what we've been doing actually has been watching folks for another hour looking for side effects. We haven't seen those. We think it's a great addition right now. You know, a month ago, remdesivir was approved for in-hospital work. Now, the studies back a month ago said it lowers hospital stays by five days. A recent study by the World Health Organization says, well, it may do that, but it doesn't save lives. Mm -hmm. Same death rate. So they've actually cautioned against this. Now, this is the way science works. And tele-studies shown many, many times that it works and certain studies are shown that it doesn't, we don't accept it. So let the scientists bicker. We're gonna keep using this drug until we see if it's a good drug or not, but more studies to come to figure that out, Sonia. Yeah, as we've been saying, this is all an evolving and fluid situation, but also promising news around these vaccines. Yeah, that's real exciting. So we expect that Pfizer's vaccine will be available soon. Moderna, another company is right on their heels, so we'll have some vaccines out before long. Now, they'll be in limited supply also. So it looks like uh, they're gonna target who gets it in phase one, two, and three. Phase one may well be healthcare workers in, workers in essential services. Then the elderly, over age 65, and then folks that are younger but have chronic medical conditions or immunosuppression. So those are gonna be in the first couple phases before the general public gets it, probably later this spring, maybe early summer. Now there's another dozen companies still making vaccines also. They're not quite that far along, so maybe we'll get lucky and have those come out and have more vaccines. But right now we're looking for the general public probably late spring, early summer, Sonia. Hmm. Uh, now I know the CDC is urging people not to gather for, you know, let's say Thanksgiving or, or Christmas holidays, but uh, is there a way to do it more, uh, I guess, in a safer manner for the people who say, well, I'm gonna do it anyway? Yeah, I was struck this morning by the headlines of the Dallas Morning News, stay home for the holidays. And actually, my family was planning to leave. We're changing our plans. We're going to hunker down also. Safest way, of course, is stay in your own home. And if you want to talk to folks, get them on the phone, do a video visit if you want to do that. If you expand to have more people in, eating outdoors is better than indoors. Be six feet apart. Keep that mask on except when you're chewing. It's going to be a, a tough time to get families together. We're expecting a big surge to go even farther next week after this, if people don't really do the right thing. So be careful. Virus has doubled in the past two weeks in hospital stays. I heard this morning at Baylor, the number of new cases has doubled actually since last week. So this virus is taking off. So everyone, please be safe, be careful during these holidays. All right, Dr. David Winter, that's all the time we've got for you this morning. Uh, we'll check back in with you next week. Indeed, see you soon, thank you, bye.